As the flu epidemic continues, the FDA has approved a new one-of-a-kind vaccine that's set to hit the market in the next few weeks. The CEO of Protein Sciences joins us with a look at the new drug and what it could mean for the company as it now looks to go public. As the flu epidemic continues to hit the U.S., the FDA has approved a new kind of flu vaccine that is not made using eggs or an influenza virus like other vaccines are. So what are the benefits and when can we get our hands on it? Joining us now, Mano Cox, Protein Sciences CEO. Welcome. Thank you for coming on. You've Hello. had this flu shot yourself. Thanks for having me. No, unfortunately, I haven't had the flu shot myself because like all other employees in our company, we are hoping and we're hoping to get flu block approved uh, this year. And we have made 150,000 doses and they are waiting to be released, packaged and shipped to us. And some of us are really eagerly waiting to get that What's, vaccine. What are you so. expecting? What's the time frame here? A couple of weeks. Nice. Couple so the weeks. product was spilled already in November and is now waiting to have the stickers put on and put in boxes. Now we were talking before we came on, you thought it was strange that I didn't know that, that these vaccines could be made without preservatives. Uh, I think, you know, you, you may be so in the business that you didn't know, but a lot of folks don't realize that you can make a vaccine, and yours is one, without a preservative. How does that work? Yeah, I think one of the most important advances in our technology is that we are basically using a sterile production process. So unlike using um, embryonated chicken eggs, where there are indeed in the beginning of the production process bacteria present that may need to be contained with preservatives or antibiotics, we don't need to do but that. But why doesn't everybody, is it the cost? Why doesn't everybody do it? That yeah. sounds like it makes more sense. It, it is true that preservatives are mostly used to be able to sell multi-dose virus and unfortunately a lot of people believe that vaccines have to be available for free so there has always been an enormous price pressure on vaccines and the multi-dose vials contain 10 doses in one vial and therefore you don't have the production cost of that vial mm -hmm. of those single dose vials so our product will come in a single dose vial and doesn't contain any of those additives like antibiotics or um, preservatives. I want one of those. <laughs> yeah, the, the flu is, I mean, we're talking about this. Everybody is so scared of the flu this year. And some people or opponents of getting a flu shot say they're worried it'll make them sick. What do you say to that? You know, in principle, 30% of the U.S. population indeed believes that you can get the flu from the flu shot. And I don't know what created that fairy tale because, in principle, the virus is inactivated in the majority of the vaccines. There is a live attenuated virus, but that has weakened so much that you also cannot really get the flu from it. Mm -hmm. But still, there are side effects that are caused by, for example, endotoxins that might be present in these vaccines that cause uh, flu-like illnesses. Well, it there is a concern, another concern about taking uh, these vaccines, which is that it lowers the body's own ability to build up defenses to disease. Is there any truth to that? I don't believe that that is the case because in principle when you give a protein to the body, the body will see that as um, we need to defend ourselves and we need to make antibodies. It might indeed be true if after many, many years continued vaccination that you will have a somewhat lower ability mm -hmm. to respond to it. Mm -hmm. But what we have shown in studies spe specifically in the older individuals is that they're still better off to take the vaccine because it will boost and help their immune yeah. system. So many older people are nervous about that. They really are. Uh, protein science is working on Flubach. You're also working on a couple of other drugs and maybe considering going public? We certainly hope to go public at some point in time in the near future and we are very pleased that this product finally got approved because we call it a plug and play technology. Uh, you can use the Shot same the technology arm. to no make all kinds of other products. <laughs> yes. Very interesting. No time frame on when you might go public though. No, we are, um, it, some of our corporate investors um, really realized an enormous increase in market cap uh, during the past couple of days because the market responded extremely mm -hmm. positive in Japan for UMN and in Sweden for our partner Diamet. But we don't have really plans yet. We are just talking. Well, thank you for coming in. Dr. Thank Cox, good to much. see you. Mano Cox, Protein Sciences CEO. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, if you're